Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, <laughs> by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, <laughs> then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Where you at? Uh, <laughs> hmm. uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but... Yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? Huh. I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. <laughs> Ouch. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Oh, man. Is that okay? Uh... Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your wow. eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. Well then, welcome, guys. I hope you are, uh, you know, as excited about that conversation as I was. Definitely some stuff going on, and I cannot wait to see how it expounds upon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video. Um, I don't really know what to do now because sort of just woke up, so kind of just have to deal with whatever happens. So we'll see if she calls me. You know, something happens because I don't see anything going on right now. Wait a minute, where was her lookout at? I remember it was around here somewhere. I can't find it. I know she seemed, somehow looked at me. Bruh. It's alright though. Well, I guess I'll just wait until something happens. Oh man. So yeah, how are you all doing today? I just wanted to ask that. I wanted to say thank you guys for watching my videos and giving me likes and comments and stuff like that. It's awesome. What? <sighs> Whatever. But yeah, uh, just... I guess I can board it from the inside. I guess not. Anyway, but yeah, like I said, I'm glad that you guys have been paying attention to my stuff. It feels good, and I'm happy that you all are uh, enjoying my, my videos. You know, it feels good. It feels real good. Yeah, come on, something needs to happen. I don't know what's going on. And if you don't mind, it'd be awesome to get five likes. Just something simple for right now. Kadoosh! Told the paper. Was it told? That's right, told outside. So yeah, just five likes, you know, a share with your friends, and uh, we'll be good to go from there. No. Nope. Um. Hmm. I'm supposed to board my window or something? Cause I don't. It doesn't show me that I can. Yeah, it's not giving me the option to board it up. Unless I need more wood. 
which in certain cases I must have to go get some. Well then, let's see. There's no actual mission yet. Sorry though. Oh, there it is. Makes sense. Come on, Wood. Where are you, Wood? Oh, yeah. What is something right here? What? Oh. Oh, this right here. Okay. Oh, I guess just needed three more boards. Oh, okay. Makes it simple enough. This didn't have to walk around too far for it to come up. Thank you. And as soon as I do it, some shit's about to go down, naturally. What's my nails? I'm not using any nails. Huh, it's weird. Hm. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Ha! Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. <laughs> Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. All right, then let's take a seat. Whoa. What the fuck? Day nine? Jeez. Us. afternoon I might never leave <laughs> well, uh, I call up with some bad news Aww. two young women Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing they've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week they were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody if they're the girls from last week then you're probably the last person to have seen them sorry about that you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's I, worth mentioning. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Yeah, it was, but you know, you kind of... Wow, six more days though? Whoa, what? What? Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? You big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Bro. Mm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. That's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Whoa. We're just jumping now.
Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Makes Should be sense. loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Yeah, <laughs> jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <sighs> so, oh, sorry, no wrong So, bad. like two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. No, you're never in a way. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Months before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Mm, he was a driller down in Casper. <laughs> driller. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly, and I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, <laughs> I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine, he'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff nice. like that, it'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I could have, but damn! You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Yep. And. She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. It's so dark out here. <laughs> That's right. Mm, no, you were not. Flashlight. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, now I'm supposed to navigate through this so darkness. There's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. Ah, I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. God damn, it's so dark out here. <sighs> okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I like that I just did my move with her. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? 
Yeah, yeah definitely. I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Oh. And I know you're not really available, but I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm, I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. Bro. We could sit outside. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. <laughs> what? What could we do? Bro, it's going down. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um... You know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like this. Their dynamic is so cool. Bear tracks, where's the bear tracks? Oh, I can't swim. Damn. Where are you bad bear tracks? Okay, come on. So it's been like two months, I think. That's that's a long time skip, time skip, bro. Huh? What? The, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. Bro. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, Nobody. but also, you know, devastating. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's cool. Whoa, what? Whoa. Bro. Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... I just, I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't, what the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Does Meadow. It? Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God. 
damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what... What you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Nobody. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these... People were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, Dee? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Definitely. I'm hiking through the canyon. Which way is my best bet for getting to Wapiti Meadow? It looks like you can find a trail on the north shore of Jonesy Lake towards the west. Thanks, Dee. <laughs> Bruh. Now, this has got interesting. What the hell is out here with me? It has been watching and listening to us for a while now. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Oh no, I'm supposed to be going up. I guess I can go follow the path in a minute. We'll see though, my goodness gracious, like somebody's out here with me. What is this? Seem normal with everyone else. Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom exactly? I don't know. I don't know, obviously. Someone who is telling folks I've worked with for years to, to lie? Big Brother is not casting a shadow on the Shoshone, Henry. Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Hailing me? Following me around? Like, working with other people? Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes, and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I... I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course, I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. Ah, shit. Let's do another way around before, unless I have to actually go all the way up like this. A uh, long way we go. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, let's just hope. <clears throat> let's just hope. Oh, there it is. I'm surprised I didn't code this way at the beginning. This is so silly. Oops. Oh. Ron. That's the mad news back home. So hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. What's, who's to say? Though. So, but just being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. Probably overdid it. 
Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. <laughs> okay, ladder. Floating water with you. Okay. <laughs> it was just that simple then. <laughs> Art. I'm surprised I didn't just check over here, man. I feel so shamed. All right. <coughs> Looks like goddamn Area 51. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. big. It goes off in both directions, acres. What, what the fuck is going on out here? And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Get through the fence. And how am I supposed to do that? I guess I'm supposed to climb over it. Oh, okay. No, that makes sense. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. <coughs> Hey, hmm. actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. And where is it supposed to be? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? We'll go to that next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please don't forget to give a like and a comment below. Uh, I want to know how you feel about this game so far. And if you haven't played it yourself, get on it. It's good. It's great. It's beautiful. But uh, I'll see you all later. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already listened before. And don't forget, I want you to hit those likes. Please hit those likes. Give me five. Give me five. Give me a high five. I know it's easy. Just five people looking at it, just five people touch it, just one time at a time, that's it. It'll be alright, just, it's easy. And I'll see you all in the next video. Deuce!